It makes no difference what men think of war, said the judge. War endures. As well ask men what they think of stone. War was always here. Before man was, war waited for him. The ultimate trade awaiting its ultimate practitioner. That is the way it was and will be. That way and not some other way. All other trades are contained in that war. Is that why war endures? No. It endures because young men love it and old men love it in them. Those that fought, those that did not. Men are born for games, nothing else. Every child knows that play is nobler than work. He knows too that the worth or merit of a game is not inherent in the game itself, but rather in the value of that which is put at hazard. Games of chance require a wager to have meaning at all. Games of sport involve the skill and strength of the opponents, and the humiliation of defeat and the pride of victory are in themselves sufficient stake, because they inhere in the worth of the principles and define them. But trial of chance or trial of worth, all games aspire to the condition of war. For here, that which is wagered swallows up game, player, and war. Suppose two men are cards, but nothing to wager save their lives. Who has not heard such a tale? A turn with a card. The whole universe for such a player has labored clanking to this moment, which will tell if he is to die at that man's hand or that man at his. What more certain validation of a man's worth could there be? This enhancement of the game to its ultimate state admits no argument concerning the notion of fate. The selection of one man over another was a preference absolute and irrevocable, and there is a dull man indeed who could reckon so profound a decision without agency or significance either one. In such games as have for their stake the annihilation of a defeat, the decisions are quite clear. This man holding this particular arrangement of cards in his hand is thereby removed from existence. This is the nature of war, whose stake is at once the gain and the authority and the justification. Seems so, war is the truest form of divination. It is the testing of one's will and the will of another within that larger world, which because it binds them is therefore forced to select. War is the ultimate game. It is war is at last a force of the unity of existence. War is God. Ha 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 ha!